Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 6 of my Hard Space Shipbreaker playthrough. So the Administrator has arrived, apparently. Well, we have a good track record, I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. So, the couple of things first. Um, we do have a new message, I believe. Although I did open it just to check to see whether or not it is in fact a new message, so now I have to find the damn thing again. Railgate Project. After solidifying Lynx as a corporate powerhouse and a boon of innovation, uh, Exeter Paulson continued his quest for fast, easy mass transit between the planets. After years of searching, he discovered engineers and astrophysicist Dr. Doris Singh. That's probably wrong. Singing? Um, who was then working as a professor, or professor and researcher in the Physics Department of International Arctic University. Dr. Singh uh, had published a paper a few years prior describing a model for rapid transit through a series of gates. Criticised as too grand and impractical, her proposal had languished. Exeter hired Dr. Singh uh, and her research team, giving them essentially unlimited resources. Uh, under his wisdom and guidance, Dr. Singh's team completed the first railgate project connecting Earth and Mars in 2248. Human trials of the railgate began in 2252, showing early signs of success. However, only a year later, disaster struck. Due to human error and negligence on the part of the chief supervisor, the Phobos base um, sector of the gate prototype um, experienced a catastrophic collapse. Uh, the resultant blast uh, affected dozens of colonies on and around the moon, and final death toll was around 15,000 colonists and Link employees. While a challenging event, Exeter Paulson understands the real progress sometimes comes at the cost of human sacrifice, and that progress should not be stopped because of criminal failures uh, of a single individual. Um, pushing through the so-called Phobos incident, um, he helped Dr. Singh and her team rebuild the Mars Gate and continue human trials. Exeter had an unwavering commitment to progress and pursuit of his vision. Retiring in 2255, his legacy was passed on to his daughter, um, Demeter Paulson. Uh, with her leadership in 2267, the Earth and Mars Gates were open for the first time or first round trip from Earth to Mars. Ah, the first round trip from Earth to Mars was completed. Exeter Paulson, father of the modern solar civilization, um, had died five years prior, never getting the opportunity to see first travelers using his gates. Um, take a moment. Uh, do you enjoy your life today? Do you see hope on Mars or on Jupiter? Do you want to forget about the burning and ad uh, the burning and adification or oh, av my mind knows how that's supposed to be pronounced. It's arid, arid, aridification um, of Earth uh, and focus on the future. Thank Exeter Sir Paulson for his vision uh, and for your chance to uh, uh, at a happy life. I think we should be thanking the doctor more than him. I mean, he funded the project. He didn't do anything other than fund the project and give it a push. Anyway. Uh, there was one other thing we wanted to look at in here. We have a new ship. Which one was it? Javelin Small Heggy Cargo? Yes. So we are looking for Javelin Heavy Cargo Small. That's the ship we want to be uh, disassembling this time if we can find it. Uh, and lastly... The dock is in and it's time for some ship plastic. We have wires. Successful transplant. Nice job. Okay. Um, last thing before we head out into the yard. Key to Beluga. Uh, enjoy, Weaver. I've still not got around to changing all my posters and my stickers. Uh, okay, the scanner may need repair some point mid-episode. Duly noted. Um, when do we get... Purchase the scanner, so that's at level 20. 
to level 18. So yeah, we've got a while yet. We can keep spending on upgrading itself. Um, let's see, where are you? Handheld utility grapple. Uh, aren't Tevers in here? Tever lifetime. There we go, magazine limit. I wanted to increase this again. Convert to a higher capacity magazine design to avoid classification as a class 9 unconventional firearm. The magazine must be embedded in the tool itself. Uh, a range of grade, of grade wouldn't go amiss, but it might be worth me thinking about getting things that will reduce durability drain. Heat capacity on that might be good, cooldown might be good. Range. Let's get increased cooldown. Busters. Fuel isn't really an issue at the moment. We have all the important things in here. It's durability drain. The moves that... I still don't understand what this is for. Because it appears to work at all ranges anyway. Allowing for a greater scan range. Unless I'm... There's a particular detail I'm not seeing. It always seems to work at any range. I can always see everything. Uh, helmets. More oxygen. Uh, don't need oxygen refill. We've not been even using that much, really. Let's give our suit a little bit more inter um, integrity. We have damaged it a couple of times already. And um, we don't have access to demo charges. We'll get them in a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we have one of these ships available and then get out in the yard. Javelin, heavy cargo. There's only one. Javelin tanker. Mackerel heavy cargo. Yeah, there's only one of these, so this is the only one we can take. Uh, needed for the next one. Not going to find any circuits in this thing, but that's fine. We can collect all the other stuff instead. It does have electricity on it. Okay. Oh, I should mention, uh, you'll notice that the bay is empty because the, I think it's because the game patched on the 14th, which was after I recorded the last episode. Um, the ship I had in the bay basically got deleted uh, and it gave me 3 million compensation, which is a lot more than the scrap that was left in the um, bay, because I think there was actually nothing in the bay. <laughs> anyway. We spent eight minutes going through all of that. We should be quiet because I imagine somebody has something to say. Morning, folks. Starting the shift clock now. Another day, another dent in the debt. <laughs> Anyone want to race me? You don't quit racing. You're going to get yourself killed for real someday. Uh, this is Hal. Just wondering how much time is spent chatting on average in a day here it's just the crew checking in with one another from time to time no harm in that well as you know the Lynx employee handbook says that avoiding chatter makes profits fatter uh talking to each other is good for productivity actually hmm. well we'll look at the performance reports later and see i guess People are people. It doesn't mean we don't take our work seriously, Rhodes. Steiner, right? No need to talk back. Hey now, it's all good, right? Let's everybody just get back to work. Fine. I'm out of here. Good, good. 
You should all focus on your work. Other than being a stickler to detail, he's yet to be an asshole. He's maybe not a particularly um, sociable person. Come on. Uh, how are you attached? You're attached to the middle section. Ah, you have pipes. Okay, we can't take you off yet. I can probably yeet, although there's stuff in the way. I think you'll make it down. That's what the cargo is. Wait a second. Why are there two of these things? Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay, I'm going to rip that off. Same thing to that. Looks like a barge part. We increased the cooldown, we did not increase its heat capacity. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. How much of that is actually in there? You don't look like you made it. Okay. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. That's a giant fuel tank, uh, which we can yank out the bottom if we can figure out how to drain it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the systems. Okay, there is a pipe there, but I don't think it's connected to anything. There's our thruster, there's our thing, a bunch of electronics and things in here. Okay, so I think we can just kill this here. Okay. There we go. Pipe's been flushed. They are probably... yeah, there they are. Be careful about that. I know the sparks can start fires, so I'd rather not have the sparks pointing at the great big tank full of fiery flaming liquid. I've never seen a tank this big before. I've got to imagine that it's going to have some pretty hefty well I've got to imagine it's going to go bang in a particularly spectacular fashion if you accidentally set it on fire uh, I assume that's part of it that's the fuel clamp I wonder if I take that off does the tank then leak okay. Don't forget that your equipment durability doesn't take care of itself. If your gear's acting up on you, best practice is to patch it up in the hat. Your tools should be working for you, not the other way around. Not 
couple in the top as well. Yep. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit This sound is a little bit more tricky, I think. Actually no, because it's not that heavy. Grand or grand thing scheme of things. One more. How much are these things worth? Two hundred thousand. Oxygen's good. on the grappling hook sometimes doesn't work how I expect it to. Critical oxygen levels detected. Consult the Lynx employee handbook on how to maximize your blood oxygen saturation. Okay, I think we finished attaching it, so I think we can just yeet it out. Everything down there looks to be in. Maybe with the exception of that. Yep, that shipping crate wasn't in yet. Okay. There's fuel in that tank. I'm reluctant to touch it, but I would like to get it gone. Um, let's worry about this first. This is working... Looks like the compartment as well as the internals are currently pressurized. Airlock depressurizing. What you want to do is vent the thrust to first. Hmm. Can toggle you. I'm not seeing a vent on that, or a vent switch leave on that, so I think we're okay. This doesn't have... Neither of these appear to have a secondary thing stuck in the middle of them. Oops. This takes me... Ah, that's actually nice for a change. Depressurize that. Head into the airlock. Airlock depressurizing. Hey, that actually depressurized everything. Good, nice. How do we get into the outside of this? There. Okay, and we have a problem now. Fine, there's not exactly things in here that we need to be concerned about. Is this entire area depressurized? I think we can just rip this straight out of the back. I don't think we need to worry about it. All of this is open now. So let's get that out. Okay. 
pull the thruster off the cap. And eat her in. Good. Registered. Transferring credits. I believe we have a clean shot through there now. Good. Processor deposit accepted. Okay. Credits awarded. That's telling me the cockpit is currently depressurized, but everything else is pressurized. Airlock depressurizing. Okay. Wires. Okay. If I just straight depressurize this, then that works as well. Um, no pressure in that airlock, but that goes outside, I think. Yeah, it's got two entrances here. That one's closed. Look. We can depressurize that. And then we can blast out. That. Okay, we'll worry about the more specific stuff later. Seconds left to wrap things up, Carter. Okay, I think we start with the stripping now. Let's... This outside shell, in fact, probably all of this outside shell is ready to come off. The thing I have to be a little mindful of is that um, the lights may try to spark. Okay, three million. I thought it was slightly less than that, but I'll take that. We haven't destroyed anything yet. I mean, meaning to take or pay a closer look at all of this stuff. So yeah, the thruster cab was, or the thruster class two, was almost a million of itself, and then the nacelles were almost a million. Still, sixteen million left on this bird. Okay. Morning cutter 9346-52. All the team and links would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Alright. Uh nothing to do, just start the shift. And continue. Yes. Hey, Dee Dee. Why don't you tell us more about your family? Don't like talking about them too much. No offense. Just here to do my job. That kind of thing is private, you know? You never know. Might feel good to open up. 
No. Gotta keep work and life separate, kid. Shipbreakers come and go. And I'll spare myself the heartbreak. This work's just not for everybody. Had this young cutter around a few years back. Jaina. Reminded me of my daughter. Nope. Sure ain't worth it to open up. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Hmm. Ah. This thing is still attached to that thing. We've vented the entire thing now. There's no uh, oxygen on the inside, so we don't need to worry about any of that. Let's get this casing all torn off, and then we can start worrying about the internals. Attached to that? It is. Okay. Uh, so we can strip that off. The time it took me to line that up, I would have been much better off just melting it again. as we have left plenty. Okay, uh, I think I'm better off pulling you into there. I really shouldn't be grabbing those, they're not worth it. <laughs> Still slightly attached. That should be free now, I think. I did get it. I thought I got one from the different side. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I don't know, do we need nuts? No, nuts don't count. Are you free? Can we push you away? We can. It's not good. You stop moving.
I don't even know if the thing I was trying to yeet into there made it into there. Can you stop moving? I want that. There it is. It didn't make it in. I don't think... Yeah, we've ripped it off. That's okay. I wasn't sure whether or not the... Um, Processing valuable objects. The external thing was still on there. Uh, this thing has a nice set of cup points, doesn't it? That just makes it fall apart. and near the uh, Master Jack, so... Okay, there's something in the lower section we can grab. just a bottle. Okay, let's finish tearing this bit apart. Does this thing, whole thing really go into the furnace? Looks like the bottom bit shouldn't do, but short of ripping the glass out, if it says in there it goes, then in there it goes. And everything else. It has a smuggler compartment. Valuable object accepted for processing. Material accepted. Okay. I really should have checked whether or not all of this was off. Um, yeah, those screens are off, so we can rip those. Oh no. I'm 90% sure there's two computer terminals in there. the computer terminal. Alright, you got five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Or they turn the lights out on you. We were out. I think I may need four again for this one. Just because of how complex everything is and how everything is all over the place. Are 
heavy. Hunk of metal. Nope, you're not. Elf cut, cut points. You free now, you are. things more than I was expecting it to, but... I think... Get the entirety of the front side done, that would be great. But I think it's about time we made this thing explode because there's multiple computers stuck together again. Now watch how they go bang. Oh no, they may actually be individual computers this time. I might be better off just cutting a great big hole in the bottom oh, and then trying to rip them out through the side. in here off. I count that as salvaged, even though I'm not going to get the money from it. It's on its way. Six million. Okay, we only lost some aluminum panels, so it's not the worst thing in the world. 0.1% destroyed. We still have a lot of the ship left, though. Almost half. Although I think we've now cleared a path to be able to remove that fuel can. 
So maybe that's the first thing we start taking apart next time. Start with that. In fact, no, we should be able to strip the entire middle now if we can disconnect it. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Salvage airlocks. Okay. Uh, we did find wires, dampeners, rods. I don't think we found a fuse yet. Let's make sure to... Um... Start with this. Folks, efficiency is a measure of discipline. Productivity is a measure of skill. Output is a measure of drive. Discipline, drive, skill, effort, ambition, strategy, autonomy, integrity, positivity, innovation. I hope what I'm saying is clear. Roads out. Clear as mud. What you're saying is clear as mud. Um, can I cut that off? Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Oh, did I get both of them? Are you free? You are. Surprisingly, you don't worry much. But we do have to get you around this ship. Um, that way. And pull you this way first. Then we can tether you to there. And that should. Okay. Interesting. This thing isn't connected anymore. Deposit accepted. Well, that works for me. They weigh much, they just don't like being pulled. I think you're free enough that we can probably move you over into there and you're not going to catch. Same with you. Come on. Out you come. Object processed. Transferring credits. You're free. You're free. Okay, the switch on that thing wants to go into the barge. Oh no. Come on, move! I'll be tethering you while you're in there. Quicker, and I might be able to go through both of them. God damn you! Straight the way through that as well, which is not what we wanted. Uh, 
And that didn't go through the second one. Fine, we'll do it from this side. It'll be slightly safer. beg your pardon okay your, your pardon is begged my well-laid plan didn't work because the game decided it didn't want to <laughs> it failed in all possible ways okay that gives you clearance to get out still attached to there which is fine Weigh as much uh, where's the barge that's the barge I'm assuming I don't need to detach the cap Warning. Fuel levels are low. okay I'll refill them when I get some oxygen Deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay, I gave us both the fuel cap and the thing. Oh, this is loose. It's also heavy, but that's what tethers are for. We can yank you clean forward. Try not to catch onto that if you could, please. I don't want to yank the ship, the rest of the ship with you. Good. way into there if you could please in your own time okay we need to consider the electronics in here I think everything in here is battery powered I powered off the own batteries actually no we should strip the shell off first um, where was the entrance here it is Oxygen's low. Okay, let's go now. Since we are inside the ship. Let's get the back end done first so that we can then... Um... So that we can rip the um, reactor out. sake of not having
five minute warning cutter. Five minutes left. We were out. Okay, are we all detached? Can you say no? What did I miss? Not sure. Some of this is definitely detached. I think I already removed the um, bit from that. Stop. Okay, yeah. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Okay, you're coming with me. On a trip. Straight down. You can stop breathing heavily. <laughs> we immediately disposed of the problem. Probably gonna need one more shift just for some basic cleanup. Okay, don't do that one. And pull you up. Okay, now you can go in. Same with you. Let's get you up a bit. Then you can. Follow that thing in. And then you can just go in as well. As can you. Yeah, go with that. Uh, I think you can go in. I will get the... It's a good ch time to check it. That's the airlock. Panel. Airlock console, good. That's the main thing I was concerned about, whether or not the airlock console counted. come apart? You do. Good. Um, in which case, what is it? No power in here. Be a hero. What kind of job do you think we're in? Salvage secured. Applying credit. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Okay. 
one short shift just to clean up the last four million ought to do the job oops are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Okay. Ah, the packet. Uh, given what we have left to do, I'll repair them next episode. I wasn't sure whether or not they were. Uh, we need you to be over here. And a second. Interesting. That needs to be cut. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Measure twice. Cut once. Uh, if I cut there, I'm potentially going to cut through the back of that, so let's not. I'll be annoyed if that's still attached. It is. Why? Why are you so inconsistent with that? I was further away when you cut a massive hole in the back of the ship. Okay, in you go, in you go, uh, given the weight of that thing rather than trying to yeet it we'll just let it be tugged in. What do we lose? Light. Okay, there are my batteries in here. Sneaky batteries. Game, can you not do shit like that? Again, look! That was a triple console! In the middle of a double console! I think... Not that way. Come on! It took damage, but at least it didn't get destroyed. Salvage 
Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Get the feeling the table is for the barge, but not the barge, sorry. Okay. Yes, I'm aware it's going to get repaired at the end of this shift. The furnace? Yeah, so we can just You have another battery behind you? You do. And you have no more batteries, but what's the bed and there's two of you in there? I need to report that to um, the developers. There shouldn't be two consoles embedded in one another. Fortunately, it's still okay. Be gentle with it. We're not going to lose the, any salvage. Rotating. Come on, actually rotate the other way. There we go. Salvage registered. It's just a little damaged. It's still good. It's still good. I may have to just cut the back off this in order to get these out. They're going to be awkward. What we could do is... Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage goals. I mean, yes, I could just cut the back off of it, but we have seven minutes to try and finagle it out. Uh, let's replace the tether supply while I'm here. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen levels stabilizing. Oh, did you never make it into the processor? Getting the pipe out is probably going to be harder than getting these things out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Didn't work with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Now the pipe. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Come on. Yes. Object process. Transferring credit. How did you get down there? What? Oh no, door, I'm making the wrong one. Door, yeah. Doors always get destroyed. Why are you acting like you're not in there? Bizarre. I'm glad the barge doesn't kill us. There's a bunch missing though. I think I cut that much off, but nah. I think we're done here. Hmm, hundred thousand missing. Still, collectively, that's only one point two percent. I'll take that. Red seal. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. Consider me awake. Hazard level 6. You are now authorized to work and salvage with the following hazards. Class 2 reactors, a far more powerful reactant source, with great potential for damage and more complex um, extraction procedure. Environmental control unit, ECU, controls the atmosphere, or atmosphere and pressure levels inside the ship, as well as provides coolant to the reactor. Coolant. Coolant leaks, are co or coolant leaks cause all surrounded objects to become highly brittle and easily destroyed. Refer to the handbook message uh, available at your employee terminal for more details. And we have two new emails. Good news, Cutter. You've earned clearance to the next hazard level. This means you'll be getting class two reactors now. Gnarly things. We'll start training when you're ready and I'll walk you through them. Oh, they're not so bad. You've seen one reactor, you've seen them all, I think. This ain't really that simple. Yeah, I got a tip for you there, newbie. Don't blow it up. <laughs> Cutter, like I said, let me know when you're ready to start training. Don't take too long. Yeah, no, Hal's a bit of an ass. <laughs> a 
Okay, three new messages. I thought I didn't say two. There's, there's four messages in here. Although, admittedly, one of them we've already read. Uh, okay, let's go back. You are now authorized to work or to work on salvage containing class two reactors. The re these reactors are connected to an environmental control unit, an ECU, uh, a long and long range thrusters. Shipbreakers must disconnect the ECU and thrusters before extracting the reactor. A failure to follow these steps will result in a faster meltdown sequence. Meltdowns can affect shift profiles, uh, shift profits rather, and may result in demerits on your employee record. You are now authorized to work and salvage containing the environmental control units, ECUs. These units can uh, control the atmospheric, atmosphere and pressure levels inside a ship. Uh, and proper, and properly ex ah, let's try that again. To properly extract an ECU, um, open its access panel and remove the connecting coolant canisters. Uh, the ECU can now be safely salvaged. Uh, watch out for coolant leaks as these can uh, ad adversely affect body temperature and the stability of salvage materials. I have actually seen these before. I don't know whether or not they've changed the system, but basically during my playthrough... Um, at the very earliest point of the um, alpha, beta, early access, that was the word I was looking for, um, I got up to a ship that had a class 2 reactor and ECU, and I did manage to take them apart, although I think I damaged the ECU. Uh, Demeter Paulson uh, was an unwavering and clever business person who, under her father, Executor Paulson, under her father Executor Paulson, uh, worked as a senior advisor before inevitably ha inheriting the CEO position of Lynx Corp in 2238. Uh, long tutored by her father, she had a vision for Lynx uh, to be the foremost and de facto provider of many off-world industries, including salvage, transport, manufacturing and accommodation. Um, with a long view to success, she cleverly offered uh, Link services at a price which competitors could not match. Um, once the position and reliance on Links had been established, she returned prices to profit-making levels. Uh, in a matter of years, Dimitri had made Dimitri Demeter uh, had made Links not only the greatest name in key off-world industries, but also uh, the only name in some cases. Demeter's vision opened up opportunities uh, for mass. Or for the mass of poor, uneducated, and jobless uh, folks across the colonies. I think I read that wrong. I think I read the words right. I think I read the cadence of the sentence wrong. Uh, giving, them uh, giving them a chance to, at a better life. She turned her accumulated. Oh no, she turned her acrimel um, to bolstering the existing Lynx workforce. In 2283, Lynx acquired. Uh, Janman Bioworks, uh, Bioworks, a company focused on technology that could preserve, preserve and regenerate the body and mind, uh, with the goal of reducing worker overhead and turnaround. These acquisitions would eventually result in the vital Everworks asset replacement program that protects Link's employees every day. Up next, the guidance of Megan Rypolson. We didn't get a new ship! But that's fine because I think two of the ships that we, or two or three, I think the javelin tankers definitely look like they could hold a, a um, class two reactor. I don't think the Atlas could. Atlas was more thrusters than it was space for a reactor. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll call it there for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with... When's this going out? This will be the first... Yeah. So tomorrow should be the first episode of Sunbreak. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Uh, with the idea being on Saturday and Sunday as usual. Um, but yeah. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.